your roof. It's the most important protection against nature for your home or your business. That's why I trust the experts at Exterior Home Solutions. It's the Exterior Home Solutions Extra Inning. I'm Eric Kane. Appreciate you guys for being here in Tennessee. A 6-2 winner here on opening day to kick off the children's or the Shriner Children's Collegiate Showdown and, of course, play here for the 2024 campaign. Uh, the, the show early on was A.J. Russell, and then it turned into A.J. Cosby. It was the A.J. show any way you want to spin it. Um, Russell, his first weekend start, 10 strikeouts, retired 10 in a row at one point in time. Ran into a little bit of issues there in the fifth inning. And again, as I told you guys, low pitch counts this weekend, so no surprise that he got lifted there. Thought he was phenomenal. Again, ran into some trouble there in the fifth inning, but his fastball had so much movement on it. His breaking ball, that slider going away from right-handed hitters, thought he was really, really good. And then you go to A.J. Causey, who his one blemish on the record was giving up that, that triple there, that uh, the two-run triple, still getting out of that inning to preserve the lead. But you got 92-93 coming from the side. That is really difficult. He pitches the last four innings and two-thirds, looked really good in the process, had about six strikeouts, I think. I'll have to go back and check. But you go from A.J. Russell to A.J. Causey with those type of efforts, it's going to be hard to beat. It's going to be really, really hard to beat. At the plate, Billy Amick thought had a really good game. Of course, caught Tennessee on the board, home run. Three runs in the fourth inning, three runs in the eighth inning, and that was kind of the story for Tennessee. Big ballpark, I thought Cannon Peebles and Christian Moore both would have had home runs at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. Um, I thought Tennessee obviously squandered away a bases loaded, no out jam. They were earlier in the ball game, but did come through again, one out with the bases loaded. Tennessee was able to spark a three run eighth inning. So. It wasn't perfect, but there was a lot of pauses overall. I think that um, you know, Tennessee was not afraid of the moment. Tennessee didn't back away and beat a pretty doggone good ball club. And you could tell with Texas Tech, the way they were utilizing their bullpen, they wanted this game really, really bad. As always, appreciate our friends, Exterior Home Solutions, local trust since 1999 for bringing us coverage here of the uh, extra inning. We'll be back tomorrow. Tennessee going up against Oklahoma, same time, same place here from Globe Life Field.